Just Ruck, he's quite good, isn't he? Uh, I wasn't going to do a video looking at Just Ruck's throw because there's already a brilliant one from Straight to the Point Darts on YouTube. But in a recent video, somebody asked me in the comments to do this one, so here we are. This clip is from the Pro Tour when he stuck the rough end of a pineapple at Brendan Dolan, almost breaking the record for free to average. A fantastic performance, a video you really want to go and watch if you haven't already. He was one of the players I picked out in my video about players for the future. And it's so far so good for all of those players, especially young Mr. Rock. He's already making his way up the PDC rankings, picking up a lot of wins on the floor. And he's also finding his way into more and more of the big tournaments. He's qualified for the World Match Play upcoming. I'm looking forward to seeing him make his debut at the Winter Gardens. He should do pretty well there. I love how confident he is, how assured he is. He's got a great attitude and obviously he's got bags of talent. And he's a heavy scorer, which creates a lot of opportunities to win legs, which is, of course, what it's all about. I think the longer format of the big ticket events will definitely suit Josh's game. We've already seen him put in some big performances on the big stage. He turned in one of those against Michael van Gerwen in the last 16 of the Grand Slam. He hit this incredible 9 data. MVG eventually came out on top, winning 10-8, but it was a glimpse of what we can expect from Rock. Against the very best in the game, in a big event, under pressure, he performed brilliantly. We're going to be seeing a lot of Josh in the future, and we'll get to look at his throw and how it develops. He's still very young, so by no means a finished article, but he seems very comfortable with his technique, and he's got a very nice throw. So let's take a closer look at it. This is a nice clip showing Josh has got a very deliberate throw. He throws every dart with real purpose. He often puts extra emphasis on that when he releases his final dart. His grip's fairly orthodox. He holds the dart more towards the front of the barrel, quite deep into the index finger with the thumb at the side of the barrel. And his second finger supports the dart by resting underneath the point. Open hand, quite a relaxed grip and his wrist is set back about 45 degrees. This type of grip will encourage more of a pull rather than a push motion. His approach to the yucky is typical of the best players in the game. His eyes will be on the target before he's set to throw. His front foot isn't pointing forward. Uh, it's more like 45 degrees from the yucky. His toe lines up pretty much bang on with the centre of the hockey. Forearm is completely vertical and his wrist lines up with his forearm. A lot of players don't manage this. Their wrist cocks one way or the other. I believe this helps massively when keeping darts straight. He leans quite a bit but everything lines up really nicely. Particularly, as I said, along that forearm and wrist. Meaning he just has to extend his arm out to release a perfectly straight dart. As you can see here, that's exactly what he does. Eye, shoulder elbow, hand, dart, all in a perfectly straight line. It's no surprise he's so good at grouping his darts. From the side, you can see he's well balanced. There's a bit of movement. He leans in a bit. He lifts his head a little when he releases the dart. And there's some movement in the back leg. Nothing that's going to affect his game. As I said earlier, he's quite a deliberate player, but he's not a machine by any means. He still gets on with it and he's quite fluent. Transition between darts is nice and easy. The arm comes up to the same position every time and the dart comes back to the side of his face. There's a, a little bit of a flex of his wrist back a little bit more uh, when he brings the dart fully back. That creates a bit of extra whip when bringing the arm forward. He starts his release when his arm's about 90 degrees and it's a nice fluid release. As always, there's that full textbook, full extension of the arm. And here's a great shot showing that fully extended arm. If your throw looks like this when you've just released the dart, you won't be doing too badly. We'll be seeing plenty more of Josh's throw in the coming years and I'll be looking at a few other players very soon. I hope you're enjoying the How the Great Players Throw series. Uh, please take a second to like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I'll be doing a video sometime this week where I'll try and predict the world match play. There's a few other bits and bobs in the pipeline too, so stay tuned for those. In the meantime though, thank you very much for watching. Happy darting. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.